A pleasant good day to everyone. Today, the group will have to discuss about the case study of North and South Airline. So here are the facts of the case. In January 2008, the Northern Airlines, together with the Southeast Airlines, merged and created the fourth largest U.S. carrier with Stephen Booth, a former Secretary of the Navy, as its new President and Chairman of the Board. Stephen's first concern in creating a financially solid company is the cost of maintenance of the aircrafts. He noticed that there is a significant difference between the maintenance cost for the airframe and engine of the aircrafts of the Northern and Southern Airlines, with Southern Airlines having newer fleets. Stephen asked the VP for Operations and Maintenance, Peg Jones, to check and study the case. Stephen wanted to know if his belief of the connection between the age of the aircraft and its maintenance cost really do exist. Peg Jones, together with his team, gathered all of the previous data that could help them and move on in solving the case. The average age of each fleet was calculated by first multiplying the total number of calendar years each aircraft had been in service at the relevant point in time by the average daily utilization of the respective fleet to total fleet hours flown. The total fleet hours flown was then divided by the number of aircraft in service at that time giving the age of the average aircraft in the fleet. The average utilization was found by taking the actual total fleet hours flown on September 30, 2007 from Northern and Southeast data and dividing by the total days in service for all aircraft at that time. The average utilization for Southeast Airlines and Northern Airlines were then 8.30 hours per day and 8.70 hours per day, respectively. So for this case, we will be using the point of view of a consultant. Now for the statement of the problem. Is there a correlation between the average fleet age of the aircraft and its maintenance cost? Now the group have come up with the following objectives. First, to examine and analyze the data and issues of Northern and Southeast Airlines through the use of regression in order to understand if there is a correlation between the age of the aircraft and its maintenance cost. Second objective is to give a conclusion based on the results that will help prepare Peg Jones' response to Stephen Root. And for the last, to provide recommendations based on the conclusion. Now for the solution, let us recall the following data of Northern Airline as to its airframe cost per aircraft and as to its engine cost per aircraft and for the average age for every year. Now for the solution of Northern Airline's airframe cost under the regression statistics what is denoted here as R square is the coefficient of determination which is equal to 0.7694 or 76.94%. Note that the significance level of F is 0 0.0094 and we have here the slope which is under the coefficients 0 0.002598. For Northern Airlines engine costs, under the regression statistics, or what is denoted as R square, we have the coefficient of determination equal to 0.6124 or 61.24%. The significance level of F was 0 0.0375 or 3.75%, and the slope is equal to 0 0.002643. For Southeast Airline, we have here the following data. The airframe cost per aircraft, the engine cost per aircraft, and the average age. 
For the airframe cost of Southeast Airline, we have computed here the coefficient of determination or what is denoted here as R square under regression statistics, which is equal to 0.3904 or 39.04%. Note that the significance level of F is equal to 0 0.13.35 or 13.35%. And we also have computed the intercept and the slope. The slope is equal to 0 0.0032. For the engine cost of Southeast Airline, we have computed here the coefficient of determination under the regression statistics. 0.459921 or 45.99%. The slope here, under the coefficient, we have 0 0.0406 and the significance level of F is equal to 0.094 or 9.4%. From the regression analysis presented earlier, for Northern Airlines, even the low significance level of F which is less than 1%, and coefficient of determination of 76.95%, the average HRs and the direct airframe maintenance costs are statistically correlated expressed in the following equation. Airframe maintenance cost is equal to 36.10 plus 0.0026 times average HRs. From the above, we can say that for each hours increase in average HRs of Northern Airlines aircraft, we expect its airframe maintenance cost to increase by 0.0026. As to Northern Airlines direct engine maintenance cost, given the low significance level of F, which is 3.75%, and coefficient of determination of 61.25%, the average HRs and the direct engine maintenance cost are statistically correlated expressed in the following equation. Direct engine maintenance cost is equal to 20.57 plus 0 0.0026 times average HRs. From the above, we can say that for each hours increase in average HRs of Northern Airlines aircrafts, we expect its direct engine maintenance cost to increase by 0 0.0026. However, for Southeast Airlines, the average HRs and the direct engine maintenance costs are not statistically correlated given the high significance level of F, which is 13.35%, and coefficient of determination of only 39.05%. Same goes for Southeast Airlines direct engine maintenance cost, having the high significance level of F which is 9.40% and coefficient of determination of 46%. From this analysis, we can conclude that the age of aircraft is an important determinant of maintenance costs for Northern Airlines, whereas the results for the Southeast Airlines suggest that there might be other critical factors that largely determine its maintenance costs, such as flight length and, dis and destination, demand, and size of aircraft. However, as a Northern Airlines, it can also be noted in the regression equation that although age and maintenance costs are correlated, maintenance costs have fixed components, which is around 53% and 39% of the average airframe and engine maintenance costs respectively. Therefore, based on the result of the regression analysis, Maintenance cost is more dependent on the airline and not on the age of the carrier. With this, North South Airline should, an should further analyze and assess other factors that may affect the maintenance cost. Therefore, we recommend Stephen Root to further study and analyze the cost components of the maintenance cost. For Northern Airlines, he should check on its fixed cost on top of the identified variable costs related to average HRs. And for Southern Airlines, you should look on other possible factors aside from average HRs that directly affect maintenance costs.